Hey everyone, Joy from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of the song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for the song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, arp, synth, bass, all in the left hand range, which stretches from here to here. In the upper left hand section, you'll find that there's a pad and a chord piano, and that stretches from here. Then you'll hear a piano here for right hand, which will stretch from here all the way to here. When song section control is at zero, you'll have the piano all the way up to the top here. And then as you move song section control, you'll find there are some synths here in this range from this key to here. You'll start the song with song section control up at one third for the intro, and then you'll bring it back down for your down verse, then back to one third for your down chorus, breakdown, medium verse, and bridge, up to two thirds for your medium chorus, turnaround, bridge, and refrain, and then all the way up for the big chorus and the outro. Remember that whether you're on main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have song section control up at one third. You'll go ahead and just play an octave with left hand. I don't add any right hand here, but you could play some notes on the piano if you want. But I just hold that octave. Then later in the song, you'll see that it builds on that intro. So you'll have a refrain later where it will hold on just these left hand notes and then it will bring in the synth lead that you'll find at other parts in the song. So here's how the refrain will go both hands together. So here's right hand. And then the outro is played in this exact same way, except you'll have the song section control all the way up, but otherwise you'll play it the same. Now, when the one chord is held, this time you'll actually play the synth lead there too. So here's how the outro will sound. song when you play this lead line you'll put it like this and some of the time you'll leave those last two notes out so for the outro they are actually included whereas for the refrain they aren't so you can just watch for that throughout the tutorial or feel free to choose how you'd like to do it so one more time with the outro
For the down verse, you'll have song section control all the way down, and you'll be playing high octave single notes with left hand. So you'll hear that there is uh, chords played in the piano and the pad. So I like to add in single notes with right hand, the piano, for the first time through the verse, and then the next time through the verse, I like to do octaves. So you'll move to octaves in both hands. So I'll go ahead and play both of those for you. And then for the medium verse, I bring song section control up to one third. Now I'm playing octaves with left hand. For right hand, instead of playing all the notes together on beat one, I like to offset the right hand from the left hand. So here's how I like to do that. playing the same notes in these octaves. I'm just playing them on the two and the four instead of one and three. down chorus, song section control at one third, I'm playing octaves with left hand, and right hand will be playing synth lead. So I'll go ahead and play the synth lead by itself first. Okay, so I mentioned it in the intro section of the tutorial, but I'll also mention it here. Some of the time in the song, you'll hear this lead line played with the last two notes at the end and other times those will be left out. So sometimes the lead sounds like this. And other times it sounds like this. All right, so now I'll go ahead and do hands together for the chorus so you can hear how that sounds. So now I'm going to go ahead and play both hands for the chorus so you can hear how that sounds. At the very end of the chorus, there's a breakdown, which is just holding on the one of your key for a measure. And I just do that with left hand. So I'll show you that as well. And then the medium chorus is played the same way. You'll just have song section control up at two thirds now. Otherwise, I play the same lead line up high. And then right following the chorus, there's a turnaround. And I play the full lead for that as well. And that's the same. So I'll go ahead and play this medium chorus and turn around so you can hear what it sounds like.
and then there's one more big chorus at the end of the song. You'll bring song section control all the way up for this, but otherwise you'll play it exactly the same. So here's how this sounds. One other thing I did want to mention on the lead line right hand part here for the choruses and it comes in throughout the song is there are some strings there and if you don't pedal really cleanly they can all kind of blur together. So make sure that you're really careful with the pedaling to listen to that. For the bridge, you'll have song section control at one third. You'll be playing octaves in the left hand. Right hand, I like to just play single notes to start, and then you'll play on the third time through the bridge, you'll bring song section control up to two thirds, and I like to do octaves with right hand at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do one down bridge into one medium bridge. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out the song-specific patch. I'm Joy with Sunday Sounds. We'll see you next time.